it is often really hard to find any type of ovary that doesn't have some little type of cyst in it. There's all kinds of cysts resulting from all kinds of situations, whether they're functional or non-functional, whether they're epithelial, whether they're germ cells, whether they're mullerian. Cysts are an integral part of ovaries. In fact, in the normal development of a follicle, you have a cystic uh, configuration to some of the more mature or graphene type follicles in which you see the beginning of an antrum. Here is an ovary that has a lot of cysts. Uh, this ovary is about twice as big as it should be, and the cysts are not massive. The cysts are perhaps visible uh, along the surface of the ovary because they're mostly in the cortex. And this is a typical appearance for polycystic ovarian disease, or Stein-Leventhal syndrome, which I'm showing because it's probably the most common cause of infertility in women worldwide, and probably about 1 in 20 or 5% of uh, women have it. And these women will either be oligomenorrheic or amenorrheic. They'll be infertile. And because hormonally there's a, a somewhat of a predominance of LH over FSH in these women, they'll have a relative increase of androgens relative to estrogens and possibly even have some masculinization type uh, effects, the most common of which is hirsutism. These women can't have babies. And if you'll notice, the cysts look a lot like the cysts you'll see uh, in a uh, developing follicle. There are some theca cells at the periphery. Uh, you can also see that in the ovarian um, stroma itself, you're going to see some what look like normal uh, primary uh, looking cysts or primordial cysts like over here and over here. But as they develop, they just don't look like uh, they have enough uh, granulosa cells. And although you can appreciate the fact that there are some uh, thacal cells along the surface, both uh, interna and externa. This is a typical Stein-Leventhal or polycystic ovary uh, appearance microscopically. And uh, the cysts, of course, do not turn into cancer. Uh, they are the single most common cause of infertility uh, worldwide. Thank you very much.